Hello everyone, this is Jeff and I am back with an arcade video for you all. Um, this is my fourth mini cocktail arcade and uh, it is obviously very similar to the other mini cocktails but I did want to point out a few things um, to everyone, uh, especially my new friend who uh, is going to be getting this awesome arcade and I think it really turned out nicely. Uh, I'm doing something a little different here. I've got kind of a little tripod set up and I'm going to try to do some demos with that as well but I'm going to move around too. So I'm going to pick her up and uh, move around but uh, this is a mini cocktail arcade. It has an arcade SD card in it uh, which is a multi-game. Uh, as you can see it's doing a little demo right now of uh, Dig Dug 2 and then it tends to just pick back up after 30 seconds, I think, and then start scrolling. And uh, it will scroll through randomly. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong 2. And there is 90 games on here right now. I think 90, 90, 92. And uh, the guy updates every quarter. Uh, no promises on that, but he tries to update uh, and make more games compatible with this board. Uh, this is uh, a little different than the others and I just wanted to show you that one of the big things is that um, he had requested a Galaga marquee for uh, the control panel overlay. So this is the normally the what would be on the marquee on a, a big arcade game, but uh, we chose this graphic to go ahead and put down for the control panel overlay. And uh, over here on this side, right here, We've got Miss Pac-Man. So he said he's a Galaga fan. His wife's a big Miss Pac-Man fan. So we've got a Miss Pac-Man and a Galaga. Uh, right now I have the uh, black, because the, the paint job is black, as you can see from here. And uh, I've got the black knobs on. Uh, I can put the red ones on, which is what was on the other ones. But at this moment, I kind of like it like this. And I want to see what he thinks. And I'll give him the choice. Um, and what it also has on here that is different than the others is it has three buttons, right? So we got a blue and a yellow and then a green button, uh, which happens to go really good with this marquee. But usually it's, uh, I have the other ones that have two buttons, and uh, we did do the three button one because there is one game that requires three buttons on this multi game, and that is Missile Command. Um, he's a Missile Command fan, so. He requested the three buttons, and so I added that, which was not a big deal. Uh, one of the things I added on my last one, which I just wanted to point out again, was I cut out a nice hole here in the bezel so that you can get to these controls for the monitor with color and um, you know just auto adjust, and just in case something gets turned on and off on the power switch there. And then, of course, one of the things that I really like. Hopefully, you can see this here is the this is where the SD card is so I've got a, a one foot extension that goes from where the board is which is kind of over in this area uh, inside there and then it kind of comes over here and uh, I got that mounted on there and so uh, you can turn this thing off pop that SD card out uh, and then you can update games you can make changes uh, to it with the uh, online application Pop back in, turn it on, and then you're back in business. Um, as you can see, there's a little Dell sign there. There's just an LCD monitor in there. But uh, just wanted to point that out to everyone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop this down here and hopefully be able to give you a little quick demo of some games. Okay. So. Uh, one thing I can do is I can turn the test switch here, and you've got, you know, your volume settings, which I can turn up to 15. Uh, obviously, go down with these different buttons. So we'll just crank it all the way up for now. And you've got cabinet settings, operating mode, game settings, hardware test statistics. Uh, this one here, game settings. If you go in there, uh, gives you the sort of the eye, the icon. Right, there's um, Burger Time and Carnival, uh, you know, so if we wanted to go in, 
and change those settings. Uh, you can just change a whole variety of settings. Depends on what uh, was in the original dip switches. Right there, you can see that lives are three. If you're not a big burger time, uh, you know, if it's hard for you, you can go up to five, which I usually set because uh, I'm not great at it. But um, I do love the game. And then, of course, you just exit out, and then anytime you're ready, flip the test switch back. So it's very quick for volume as well. Uh, it does interrupt the game though, so if you do that, don't do it in the middle of the game. Um, so there's Dig Dug. Right? We put on one player. So these are four way joysticks. Uh, the four way joysticks, almost every game in here is four way. Um, not all of them, some of them are trackball games, things like that, but you know, most of the games you can can really make work uh, with the four-way joystick. I did the four-way joystick uh, because of uh, Pac-Man and uh, Donkey Kong and those type of games who that really need that dedicated four-way. Um, I did want to flip across here. You can see how quickly you can kind of flip through here. Uh, some of my other videos, you can check them out. I actually go through every single game and more in detail of the cabinet itself. Uh, here's the missile command. So uh, if I pray, I'm going to go ahead and press two player. So if you're not familiar with missile command, then uh, you should look it up. But right, so you've got the little X. So I can shoot from the left, middle, middle button, and then the right. Right, so that's why you had to have three buttons because otherwise you got a whole section over there on the right that's not working. I'm not very good at this. I'm just screwing around, but uh, you get the gist. So I'm going to let those crash in and so that you can see that this is a cocktail version and it's very portable. It's about 30 pounds. Um, I took it to game night one time, the very first one I built, and it was a big hit with the adults and the kids. All right, so then what happens is, is it just switches right over here to this one, right? And then if you want to get out of any game at any time, you don't have to wait like the 16-1 to, to die. You actually just press the one and two player button together and boom, you're back out. And of course it's in free play now because this doesn't have any um, coin mechanisms or anything in it because it's too small. But uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that turned out okay. And hopefully not, this is not too long. But did just want to show this to uh, my new friend. I hope you... Uh, Really like this. It's got a nice gloss black finish on there. I think that turned out pretty good. Um, you know, two coats of paint on there, and then the bezel turned out good. I'm really happy with the marquees. My wife said geez, these are the favorite ones that she's seen so far, and uh, you can just let me know on the on the knobs here whether you want the the black or the red. Um, but I think the the black looks good. But I can unscrew those really easy. Look, I mean, you can do it anytime you want, but. Right, just unscrew it, put screw the other ones on, and that's it. Okay, so anyway, please do check out my other videos. Um, I've got a, a hyperspin, you know, main cabinet as well that you might want to check out. I got a 16 one that I didn't build, but uh, it was my first one that I bought, inspired me to start doing these things. And uh, my next one, I really want to try putting in a trackball. I just don't know if I can fit it in this little cabinet, but uh, was. Uh, Thinking about it, putting it on this side over here since the one and two player buttons are on the other side and uh, see if I can incorporate that, but we'll see what happens. So, oh, the last little thing is, is it sits on this mat. This is a little um, $5 mat. Actually, this is uh, half of it, so you can, I can do two of them. It's like two fifty at Walmart, but it's one of those little sticky pad mats. And I highly suggest if you have a, you know, any kind of cabinet that you make that sits on a table, to, uh, to, to get one of these. I, I do have the feet on here, um, but even with the feet, I mean, you can, I mean, you can really just, you know, wail on that joystick if you want, which is what I always tend to do, and that thing doesn't move anywhere when you put it on the table, so highly suggest that. So hopefully this video turns out good, and thanks everybody for watching, and uh, I will be back uh, some other time soon with another arcade video. Thanks for watching. Bye.